In this video cast, I'm going to go through the muscles of the head and neck, and then I will go through the muscles of the chest, the shoulder, and the upper limb. So let's first do the head and neck. A is going to be the orbicularis oculi. Think of ocular, eye, think of orbit for orbicularis. Then we have the orbicularis oris. Think of oris as oral in mouth. Again, that orbicularis shows you its orbit. It's a round muscle. You only see half of it here because uh, it's a sagittal cut. Then we have the platysma. The platysma is a flat muscle. You can't see it on here because it's been taken off. It's a superficial muscle and it's a flat muscle that runs from the mandible down to the clavicle. The only model you can see it on is the uh, poster, the big poster model. So you need to look at that, but that's a platysma. And again, that's a superficial muscle. D is the masseter. The fibers run up and down. E is the buccinator. It runs, it's a deep muscle, and it runs in this direction. F is the sternocleidomastoid. Remember, break it into three parts. It's three parts tell you where it is attached. So the mastoid part of that name, that mastoid process, oops, that mastoid process, then you have the sternum and the clavicle at the distal end or inferior end. The last muscle in the head and neck is the temporalis. Again, if you just remember this is the temporal bone, this should be relatively easy. Let me go through them again without as much explanation. Orbicularis oculi. Orbicularis oris, platysma, masseter, buccinator, sternocleidomastoid, temporalis. Again, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris, masseter, buccinator sternocleidomastoid, temporalis. Last time, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris, platysma, masseter, buccinator, sternocleidomastoid, temporalis. This time, I'm going to say it, you then say it to yourself, say, say it out loud, because again that will help you remember and it will also help you with spelling. Orbicularis oculi. Orbicularis oris. Platysma. Masseter. Buccinator. Sternocleidomastoid. Temporalis. This time I'm just going to point and you're going to just say it on your own. When you first start this you may need to use the list, but see if you can do it without the list by the time that we get to the test. Okay, ready? Here you go. Okay, next we're going to do the uh, back and the chest muscles as well as the arm. We'll start up here in the chest. We'll start over here with A. This is the trapezius. Remember when you see a full trapezius muscle, it looks like a kite. And here you see the spine of the scapula. It's a major attachment point. In the front, we have the pectoralis major. Remember when you're looking at this side of the torso, they've taken the superficial muscles off so you're seeing the deep muscles. So this is the superficial side. So this is the pectoralis major. Down here we have the latissimus dorsi. Here we have the deltoid. Here you can see the back posterior. Here you can see the anterior. You can also see that muscle on the arm model. This is the arm model right here. 
what you need to make sure you do with this R model is that you orient it correctly. So you find the thumb side. First of all, you find the anterior side, okay, the palm side. Then you know the other side is the posterior in the anatomical position. You then find the thumb side. And remember, this is the anatomical position, so the thumb side is going to be lateral. The little finger is going to be medial, so you don't want to screw that up. So we had the deltoid. Here in the anterior portion of the upper arm, we have the biceps brachii. Posterior, we have the triceps brachii. And then in the lower forearm, anterior, you have the flexor muscles. Remember, when you flex a joint, the angle gets smaller. So these are the flexors. There are several of them, but you just need to know in general that they are flexors. And then posterior, in the back of the lower arm, you have the extensor muscles. Remember, extension is when you increase the angle in that wrist in this case. Those muscles in the back are extensors. So again, biceps break eye, triceps break eye, flexors, and extensors. Let's start from the beginning. I'll go through it again. Trapezius, pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi, deltoid, you also see the deltoid here, biceps break eye, triceps break eye, flexors, extensors. One more time, trapezius, pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi, Deltoid, biceps break eye, triceps break eye, flexors, extensors. This time as I say it, repeat after me. Again, by saying it out loud, you're more likely to remember it and also to spell it correctly. Trapezius, pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi, deltoid, biceps break eye, triceps break eye, flexors, extensors. This time I'm not going to say anything, I'm just going to point to a muscle and you say it out loud. You say it out loud again to practice. If you need to use your list, that's fine, but by the time you get to the test you shouldn't have to use that list to get through it. So here we go. A Okay, make sure you review this video. Again, there's practice tests online. Make sure you take those, and you also can do the worksheets that come with the pictures for each of these.